If you are excited about aviation and love everything to do with flying, we are here to fuel your passion. I am Sumit Chaturvedi and you are watching Beyond Wings, India's first TV aviation show. This week on Wings, we tell you all about the gentle giant of the skies, the Airbus A380. We meet an unlikely hero who wants to take the fear of flying out of young minds. And we visit a Gurudwara in Punjab, which see toy planes being offered by devotees. This happens only in India. It has been 10 years since this gentle giant is in service across the world. No other aircraft has been able to match its size or efficiency. Yes, we are talking about Airbus A380, the largest commercial aircraft in history. It may have seen its ups and downs, but people still get surprised when they board it for the first time. Let's take a closer look at the king of the skies. It is said that there was a world before the Airbus A380 and there is a world after the Airbus A380. And if Boeing 747 is the queen of the skies, A380 is clearly the super king of the skies. When the first A380 took off in skies nearly a decade ago, it was an aircraft ahead of its time. Even today, it remains the largest passenger aircraft in the world. The Airbus A380 is a double-deck, wide-body, four-engine jet airliner. From a technical point of view, the Airbus is truly a masterpiece. It's hard to believe that such a massive airplane can even take off, yet it's agile and comfortable to maneuver. It was in October 2007 that Singapore Airlines first flew the Super Jumbo from Singapore to Sydney. Hundreds of aviation enthusiasts turned up to watch history being made. Delivery. Taking days of the A380 became an event to celebrate across the world, and it was given a water cannon salute wherever it went. Even though the airports had to upgrade their facilities to enable the landings of the A380. The Airbus Mega Project was announced at the 1990 Farnborough Air Show, with the stated goal of 15% lower operating costs than Boeing 747-400. It was initially named Airbus A300X and designed to challenge Boeing's monopoly in the large aircraft market. A380-800 variant of Super Jumbo flies with wings that are the biggest ever created. They are 2,775 square feet in size, which is 54% larger than Boeing 747 wings. The gentle giant is 24.1 meters in height, 80 meters in width and 72.7 meters in length. A380 weighs 590 tons with 6,000 square feet of usable floor space, 40% more than the next largest airliner, Boeing's latest version of the 747, the 747-8. It provides seating for 525 people in a typical three-class configuration, or up to 853 people in an all-economy class configuration. As a comparison, the 747-8 can only transport 605 passengers on a full economy class configuration. The A380-800 has a flying range of 15,700 km and a cruising speed of about 900 km an hour. Like other aircraft, the A380 is also divided into three main seating configurations. The main deck of this Super Jumbo is completely dedicated to the economy class. There are 407 standard seats and all of them are equipped with a wider touchscreen entertainment system. The business class is located on the upper deck together with the first class. All 76 seats convert into a flat bed measuring 79 inches just with a simple touch of a button. 
There are a few onboard bars and it has spacious working and seating spaces. Emirates offers 14 individual suites for its prestigious passengers, which also comes with a spa. The passengers can enjoy a hot water shower on board, a rather refreshing experience after a 10-hour flight. And your very own suite comes with everything you need. The cabin has features to reduce traveler fatigue, such as a quieter interior and higher pressurization, which leads to 50% less cabin noise. Compared to Boeing 747-400, it has 50% more cabin area, larger windows, bigger overhead bins, and two feet extra headroom. The seating operations range from three room 130 square foot residence seats in first class to 11 across in the economy class. The economy seats are about 20 inches in width. The A380's upper and lower decks are connected by two stairways wide enough to accommodate two passengers side by side. The much-loved A380 comes with a list price of a whopping $433 million. One of the reasons why airlines have to think twice before ordering the king of the skies. There are some people who dare to dream, however impossible their dreams may be. We bring you an inspiring story of a retired aircraft engineer who wanted underprivileged children to experience flying. He fulfilled his dream by using his life savings to open an aviation school. A school with a twist. Let's meet B.C. Gupta. In the last two years, India has witnessed an enormous increase in domestic air passenger growth. According to data released by the International Air Transport Association, the Indian passenger volume in 2016 is twice as that of China. However, air travel is still a luxury for many. There are millions of people who simply cannot afford it. For those people who may never get to take a real flight, one man has come up with an idea where they can still get a taste of the experience without leaving the ground. For less than 50 rupees, customers get to sit in an Airbus A300 and a CRG200 parked on the outskirts of Delhi and they also get lessons on the etiquette of flying. We on Wings caught up with the mind behind this unique form of entertainment and experience for people of all age groups. I was working with the Indian Alliance, it was 1980 and I belong to a very small village in Haryana. So the people thought that I am a very big person in Delhi and I can do anything. You know, that's a basically mentality that goes in the villages. So they wanted to see the aircraft and due to high security area in Delhi capital, it was not possible to take them in. So uh, I took one gentleman inside and then um, I was caught. <laughs> Um, then uh, I thought that I should have something out like this, where poor people or the people who cannot afford to go inside due to any reason, they should be able to see the aircraft. So that was the idea behind uh, bringing this aircraft out of the airport, the security area. Well, it was difficult to transport the aircraft, big aircraft, because it was 172 feet, you know, span and 172 foot length, you know. So, in height, it is basically dia is 80, 18 feet and the height is around 57, 60 feet. So it was not possible. So what we did, we removed all the components, we removed all the you know, interior, store it properly, then chopped this aircraft in few pieces, brought back here, made the foundation little, you know, temporary foundation and then we started building it up. So we joined everything back. It was uh, joined properly so that you cannot you know, see that well, it is not a one piece. To make the experience more real, the old and young alike are methodically briefed on safety measures followed on the plane, including seat belt fastening, location of emergency exit doors, life jackets and oxygen masks. I flew a lot when I was working uh, with the different airlines and I used to see the behaviour of the, uh, the passengers and when um, open sky policy came in India, so a lot of people, you know, they started flying in their aircraft. These days it is very uh, common, I, I should say that. But people are not uh, civilized, I should say, 
people uh, sorry for this word actually uh, they don't know how to behave in their craft number one thing and secondly they are hurdles uh, in case of emergency so basically the idea is that i want to educate the people how to behave in case of emergency and in normal cases also they should not disturb the aerostats you know by pushing the button again and again and well they are not only for the service they are for the emergencies also so basically i'm trying to make them the untitled leader actually that is the idea and the school kids you know they are very you know they are ready to t- adapt otherwise uh, uh, normally when when you're grown up don't want to listen to anybody and you you lot of people they touch my feet actually when uh, the school kids you know they come and they touch my feet actually after the uh, we tell them how to use the oxygen mask why they should use it and how to behave what they should put the seat belt on i have kept one bull ride also i give them experience look look the aircraft can move like this you know then what will happen to you and this crj 200 uh, i have the roll action and pitch action both in an age when not many people think about providing luxury experience for the underprivileged bc gupta story truly stands out by setting up aero planet he is not only living his passion but he's also successfully managed to put smiles on the faces of several people who dream of this kind of luxury it is time to take a break on wings after the break we tell you the story of a gurdwara in punjab where devotees offer toy planes wondering why stay tuned to wings we on wings they are complicated and they change by the nation getting a visa is a time consuming process you have to fill the form visit the consulate and even rely on your luck next up we bring you story of a gurdwara in punjab where people come in thousands to seek blessings for a visa but small they make a very unusual offering take a look kilometers away from Jalandhar nestled in the Talan village of Punjab lies the Shaheed Baba Nihal Singh Gurudwara Though the shrine may look like any other place of Sikh worship what makes it of interest is the fact that it has gained popularity for being the Hawaii Jahaz Gurudwara Yes you heard that right it may sound bizarre but people believe that if you wish to go abroad offering prayers along with a toy aeroplane will make that wish come true लास्ट 10 ईयर्स में मेरे पापा आए थे यहाँ पे उन्होंने दुबई जाना था और उनका वीज़ा नहीं लग रहा था सो so, वो यहाँ पे प्लेन ऑफर करके गए तो विद इन टू मंथ्स उनका वीज़ा लग गया था This family from the nearby district of Hosharpur is here today because they want to migrate to Italy. After several unsuccessful attempts at getting a visa, they were guided by relatives to turn to faith. मेरे हस्बैंड फॉरेन में हैं वो इटली में हैं और उन्होंने हमारे पेपर अप्लाई किए हुए हैं काफ़ी टाइम हो गया तो हमें इस जगह का पता चला तो हम इस करके यहाँ पे ये प्लेन चढ़ाने आए हैं थोड़ा सा है अभी हमें जैसे जहाँ पे कोई नौकरी नहीं मिल रही इस वजह से कोई और काम के लिए भी बहुत दिक्कत ज़्यादा आती है और हम जैसे बाहर जाते हैं वहाँ पर स्कोप ज़्यादा है हमारी फैमिली भी आई हुई है बाहर का बोल रहे हैं सभी तो किसी फ्रेंड ने बताया था तो इसलिए आए थे बोलते हैं एरोप्लेन इधर देने से कोई मनोकामना पूरी होती है इसलिए हम भी आए थे इट्स नॉट जस्ट द फर्स्ट टाइमर्स हु कम टू ट्राई देयर लक सुखजिंदर सिंह लिव्ड इन फिलीपींस फॉर 18 इयर्स एंड नाउ वांट्स अ कनाडा परमानेंट रेजिडेंसी नोइंग फुल वेल दैट गेटिंग अ वीजा इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी अ केक वॉक ही इज हियर टू गेट सम डिवाइन इंटरवेंशन पहले मैं फिलीपाइन में था वाहेगुरु की कृपा होगी तो कनाडा जाना चाहते हैं अरदास करने आए थे यहाँ पर वाहेगुरु के आगे चलो अगर सुन ले परमात्मा जल्दी जल्दी चले जाए वी विजिट द श्राइन ऑन अ संडे द बिजिएस्ट डे ऑफ द वीक फॉर द गुरुद्वारा मैनेजमेंट विथ सीज नियरली अ हंड्रेड टॉय क्राफ्ट बींग ऑफर्ड बाई डेविटीज इन परसूट ऑफ दर डॉलर ड्रीम्स सो वॉट इज दिजिन ऑफ दिस सुपर सेशन पंद्रह पंद्रह बीस साल से हुआ प्लेन वाला काम पहला नहीं सी यहाँ पे चढ़ाए जाते 
ये संगतों की अपनी राय है गुरुद्वारा मैनेजमेंट्स की तरफ से जहाँ मैनेजर साहब रिसीवर साहब की तरफ से ऐसा कोई नहीं कहा जाता भाई प्लेन चढ़ाओ ये संगतों की अपनी राय है उनका काम हो जाता वो चढ़ा देते हैं For the shopkeepers here, it's an added business opportunity, as these miniature planes are the first to fly off the shelves. Plane का जो craze है भाई आपको पता है कि आज हर आदमी या लड़का कोई भी चाहता है युद्ध चाहता है कि मैं बाहर जाके struggle करूं या फिर इंडिया पे कोई इतना struggle करना कोई खुश नहीं है इसलिए हर आदमी के दिल की भी यही इच्छा है कि मैं बाहर जाके struggle करूं तो इसलिए वो plane चढ़ाते हैं साथ में अरदास करवाते हैं गुरु साहब के आगे अरदास होती है तो वो बाहर जाने की इच्छा रखते हैं इसलिए चार पांच साल से जो कुछ ज़्यादा हो चुका है इसलिए Interestingly, migration has led to a fall in the percentage of Sikh population in Punjab, and Sikhs now account for more than one percent of the population in Canada. It is time to bring you up to speed with the latest happening from the world of aviation, from an aerostis who is as old as your grandmother to world's largest amphibious aircraft developed by China. Let's watch Newsdeck. The profession of flight attendants is often said to be age discriminatory, but not for Beth Nash, an 81-year-old with American Airlines. Having the distinction of being the world's oldest flight attendant, Beth is often greeted with selfies and embraces on her journeys. My first flight at age 16, I came to. Uh, my mother said she'd take me with her to when she was going to visit her her uh, family in Ohio and I came here, I'm from New Jersey and I came from Atlantic City, New Jersey to Washington, changed planes to go to Ohio. And I, as soon as I got off that plane, I said, I am going to be in those days a stewardess. With her impeccable style, energy and grace, Beth has been termed as the undisputed star of the Airbus jet. Having witnessed generations of flyers and staff, Beth recalls the moment when she got the opportunity to serve former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy. We used to have to wear white gloves and, you know, and uh, pass out magazines and pillows and blankets before we left. You know, and so I was walking through the aisle while on the ground saying, would you care for a magazine? And I heard this little voice, from, would you? It's just like going to Washington or something. And I turned around and there was Jackie Kennedy. In the United States, pilots must retire at 65, but there's no such restriction on commercial flight attendants, of whom Bet Nash is believed to be the world's senior most. But that doesn't make Bet fret about retirement. On the brink of turning 82, she still doesn't think about the end of this glorious journey. I don't want to think about it, but I have to think that it's something that's going to happen. I'm not going to work till I'm 90. I can. <laughs> the AJ-600 is the world's largest amphibious aircraft. It's nearly the size of a Boeing 737 and it's a product of Chinese aerospace design and engineering. The other day it flew for the first time, taking off from an airfield in southern China's Guangdong province carrying out various tests before returning to a smooth landing one hour later. Typically, Chinese media waxed eloquent about its uses, with Xinhua describing it as, quote, protector spirit of the sea, islands and reefs, unquote. The reference was not unintended. The AG-600 will be able to cover the entire South China Sea region where Beijing has put up artificial islands and deployed anti-aircraft barriers on them. Let's take a closer look at this aircraft. The plane is nearly 40 meters or 131 feet long and has a wingspan of about 39 meters or 128 feet. It weighs more than 53 tons and is powered by four turboprop engines. It can carry 50 people during maritime search and rescue missions and can be used to fight fires too. It can scoop up and spray 12 metric tons of water in 20 seconds. The AG-600 can fly up to 4,500 kilometers. Although still in the research and development phase, 
17 orders for the aircraft have already been placed by Chinese government departments and private firms. The company which took eight years to design and build the aircraft is the Aviation Industry Corporation of China. A state-run behemoth which on its website says it has developed a number of high-performance, multi-purpose jet fighters, helicopters, trainer jets, unmanned aerial vehicles, transport aircraft and so on. AVIC is a fairly recent creation dating back to 1997, but in 20 years figures on Forbes Global 500 list of the world's top corporations. Comparatively, Hindustan Aeronautics is more than 50 years old but remains a minnow in global aviation. Food for thought for all of us. This is all we have in this episode of Beyond Wings, but we leave you with some visuals of Atlanta Airport when it plunged into complete darkness. There was a power shutdown, but passengers were delighted when it was restored. Take care and fly safe.